Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the target shooting tutorial series. Today, we're going to just make the target and export it into Unity. But later on in the future, we'll make a fully interactive target shooting mini game for your Unity game. So let's get started. Uh, first, make a cylinder in Blender and make it 16 vertices and a depth of half a meter or maybe 0.25 meters. Now on the top face inset it 0.2 multiple times. You can do this by shifting R and there you go. Now go to the cylinders materials and make a default wood material these materials don't really matter because we'll go over them in unity because the unity editor will make the materials look different so then make your target give that the red and the other inter mingling thing make that white so now you got a target. So now we're just going to put that into Unity. First, we can also make that 90 degrees on the X axis so it faces forward. So now apply all transformations and file. Oh, make sure you have a Unity uh, default scene already. I named it target mode tutorial sample scene so now in in blender go to file export fbx and then find your unity it'll be in documents by default unity projects target mode tutorial and then go into assets and name it target and then just click selected objects apply scalings fbx custom scale and make experimental apply transform and that's it so export fbx and now in unity you should have the target here so if we make that reset its values you'll see that the, the um, lighting you can't see the textures so you can also make this directional light make it a white light because that helps sometimes and make the lighting generate it so now you can at least see the textures but if you want a better material create a new material make this red and in the inspector make it a red albedo and apply it on the red and then make a white material and a wood material and just do that and wood and I would put these materials into a new folder called materials and bring these materials into that and make the target put that into a new folder called prefabs well you can unpack this target unpack prefab completely and then bring it into the prefabs because then it'll have the new materials and everything. So yeah, that's it for the first tutorial. Next tutorial, we're going to make a first person controller. And then we'll continue from there. So I hope you guys like it. Uh, stay tuned for those tutorials. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.